The introduction of stringent nutrient consents for phosphorus and nitrogen in recent years has led to new challenges for water companies and developers looking to treat wastewater from small communities. EPS has over 40 years' experience in the planning, design, build and operation of plants at this scale and has developed a complete toolkit of technologies to meet these new nutrient consents. Welcome to Baidoff Kilmeden Wastewater Treatment Works in County Waterford, Ireland. EPS designed and built this plant and now operates it on behalf of Irish Water. The Ballyduff Kilmeden plant is typical of the plants that EPS have built over the years to serve smaller populations. It treats wastewater arising from two villages located about 10 kilometres to the west of Waterford City, with a combined population of approximately 1,200 people. The plant is designed for a dry weather flow of 252 metres cubed per day and a peak flow rate of 20 litres per second. The plant provides treatment of all flows to a high standard with automatic final effluent sampling to monitor the quality of the discharge to the environment. There is a stringent discharge consent as well as strict odour and noise standards in place with measurements routinely taken at the site boundary. EPS have operated this treatment plant on behalf of Irish Water since its completion in 2016. It treats the wastewater to a high standard to meet with the stringent environmental standards and has shown excellent reliability. Flows to the treatment plant enter here at the inlet works. This equipment removes rags, debris and grit from the wastewater before it goes to the main treatment process. EPS sources inlet works equipment through its established global supply chain agreements and selects the equipment best suited to each particular application. Stairs and platforms are fabricated in-house to gain access to the main moving parts for inspection and maintenance purposes. This is the main biological treatment stage. At this site, we're using a sequencing batch reactor with an anoxic phase to remove the majority of pollutants and nutrients from the wastewater. EPS have access to a toolkit of process technologies to ensure that we can supply solutions that best fit the flow and load characteristics of each site we encounter. In particular, EPS can select and configure biological treatments to suit the specific discharge requirements for nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus. EPS have delivery and operating experience with all common process types, including conventional activated sludge plants, moving bed bioreactors, sequencing batch reactors, Nerida granular activated sludge plants, rotating biological contactors and membrane bioreactors. Air is delivered into the treatment process using these air blowers. The noise from the blowers is reduced by the acoustic covers and can be reduced further by placing in those. This tertiary treatment system removes any residual solids and nutrients after the biological treatment stage. It plays a key role in ensuring compliance with the strict discharge consent for this site. A chemical dosing system automatically injects a low concentration of ferric sulphate solution into the wastewater. The chemical precipitates phosphate from the wastewater. EPS designs and builds its own chemical dosing systems in-house. These are usually designed to store enough ferric sulphate for at least 28 days of operation. A safety shower is provided in case of any chemical or sludge spillages. After the biological stage, the wastewater passes through the tertiary filters. These units contain fine mesh sieves, which remove the majority of residual solid matter, including the precipitated phosphorus. The quality of the final treated effluent is confirmed using this automatic sampling device, which draws water from the outfall pipe. On many sites, a dedicated chamber is installed on the outfall line, which contains instruments for continuous monitoring of the water quality. A diesel generator provides power to run the treatment plant in the event of a power cut or planned power outage. Waste sludge from the process is directed to this covered holding tank. The tank is designed for at least 14 days sludge storage, but on many sites this is increased to 28 days or more. The sludge is slowly mixed and thickened by gravity during storage with the thinner supernatant water drawn off and returned to the treatment process. This thickening reduces the cost and frequency of transporting the sludge off-site for disposal by road tanker. The holding tank is covered to minimise odour generation and an odour control system is sometimes installed if there's housing in the local area. This building contains the main control panels 
as well as an office and welfare facilities for the operators. The Motor Control Centre, or MCC, provides power to the treatment equipment on site and receives signals back from the various pieces of machinery and instruments. The operator can use it to monitor the operation and performance of the plant and to control all of the equipment. An interface screen, known as a HMI, collates relevant information together into a user-friendly digital display. This can be replicated on a remote computer or portable device to allow continuous monitoring even when the site is not occupied. And now we will show you how we design and build wastewater treatment plants like this. A particular strength of EPS is in the value engineering of its process solutions. Treatment plants are designed for buildability, affordability and operability and there's a focus on minimising the footprint. Off-site assembly and modular construction are used to de-risk and accelerate installation on-site. EPS – Rethinking Water